Hey guys, we're just going to do a quick video on how to turn some basic rigging into a uh, Y-hang load share rigging. So um, I've got two basic lines set up here, a nine and a figure eight. Um, now this is a perfectly acceptable way to work. Um, one is your main line, one is your backup. Um, but we're going to try to turn that into a, a load share system um, that kind of halves the weight on each anchor and, uh, and puts you in a good placement, hopefully. So, um, we're going to match up these two eights onto the same anchor. Okay, and then one at a time, we're going to find where the apex of our Y will be hanging. And uh, pull up the first loop of an alpine butterfly to the second, uh, the second anchor. Okay, just like that. Now we do our second twist. Okay. And then if you can maintain that spot, hopefully the Y hang will sit exactly where you want it. Right in the middle now. Small adjustments can happen here. I can steal some rope from there to extend that loop. Just to get it a little bit more centered. Might be a little bit of perfectionist there. Okay, and there's your Y hang. Nice, nice low angle. Uh, about less than 90, definitely uh, more than 30, probably 45 degrees there, um, shares the load across. Now, if you have trouble with that alpine butterfly, sometimes it's easier just to tie an alpine as you know it. And now I can steal some rope for that loop. Now, obviously that loop's not gonna reach there appropriately. So I'll steal some rope from below, feed it through the knot, to do it twice, once, twice, and then I can steal the rest through that loop. Okay, now that's a little bit too far. Come back a bit. Right. Nice. Okay, make sure you lock up that carabiner. And now you've got your basic lines turned into a load shared Y hang. 